Hello again. My name is Dave Zolner. You know, a lot of those folks in California that are just flying high, I don't know, just flying high, literally, flying high because they can go buy marijuana, <clears throat> both recreational as well as medical. Just read an interesting article, and uh, I'm going to give you some of the highlights. Stoners and guns don't mix, California court says. And this was published back on September the 2nd, 2014. If you're a legit medical marijuana patient, you might be forfeiting your rights to bear arms. The California-based U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit ruled this week that medical marijuana users in its jurisdiction do not have the constitutional right to gun ownership. A three-judge panel upheld a lower court ruling that said a Nevada gun store owner had the right to prohibit a medical pot cardholder from buying a firearm. The ruling applies to the Golden State. Amanda Riemann, manager of marijuana law and policy at the Drug Policy Alliance, said that using a gun in connection with an offense, such as cultivation or possession with sale, can result in additional criminal charges in California, too. Medical users are forbidden by federal regulations from possessing firearms because cannabis is still a top-level federal outlaw. In its ruling, the court cited a letter from U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosive, ATF, that says anyone, quote, who uses or is addicted to marijuana, regardless of whether of his or her state has passed legislation authorizing marijuana use for medical purposes, is prohibited by federal law from possessing firearms or ammunition. Now, I went ahead and I did a video where I attached the actual federal documents that people have to fill out when they acquire or try to acquire a firearm. And there's a very clear question that asks if you use marijuana, you're prohibited. And if I recall, that's even in italic bold letters. So what this really means is that if you're caught with a weapon, and you're smoking recreational marijuana, you're basically screwed because you're never going to be able to own or possess a firearm. And they're going to find a whole lot of folks like that in California. And it just isn't California. Since it's a federal law not to be able to smoke cannabis or have cannabis in your possession, and again, that federal firearms document is nationwide. So anyone that does this shit, well, they can't have a bang bang. They can't have one of these. Huh? So what this really is, is this is a back door to take away gun rights from millions, millions of American people. You get caught with <laughs> recreational <laughs> weed, <laughs> kiss your gun rights goodbye. You think not? Well, that's not what this article says. That's not what that document that you have to fill out says. This is their backdoor way to take away your Second Amendment rights. Pretty sneaky, if you ask me. But nobody's asking me. I'll attach this article. You take a look at it. Do your own research. Come up to your own conclusion. Thanks for listening.